All right, there we go. Okay, let's get this going. Yeah. Have you actually seen the full list of charges that Cupid's getting? No. Oh, it's crazy. Anyways, I guess I'll start over. So, obviously, you know, you... Where'd you go? There you are. You walk up, first thing you see is this nice little wall here, and this, uh, cus this little, our custom emblem here. Uh, you'll see this quite a few times as we move through the building. Very proud of uh, our new building here. Yes, sir. So you come up the steps, into here, the front desk, uh, waiting room area. I mean, pretty straightforward. Uh, you come in, uh, you, you can pay, you can pay some tickets there at the little kiosk. Or, you know, you got the chairs in the waiting desk, all that uh, necessary front office type stuff. All right, we come to our multi-purpose room. Um, it serves multiple purposes, as you might guess. Uh, meetings, um, conferences, uh, press releases like we just did a second ago. Um, all the, you know, the whole nine yards and do all that stuff here. We come through here. This is the reporting room. Basically, uh, we've just got two rows of desks here for the troopers to use um, for report writing, access in the computer system. On the left here, we'll have our briefing room, um, kind of like the multi-purpose room. Um, you know, it serves it'll serve the same purposes. We can also use it for cl like a classroom, all that um, for cadets and stuff. Back there is the IT room. Um, we don't, you know, the technicians are the ones that we don't really go in there because honestly, I don't. It's a whole bunch of wires. And it's easy to mess stuff up. Um, back through there is dispatch. Again, that's um, a lot of computers and stuff, so we actually don't go back there. And we circle around here, and we'll have the uh, high command offices. We come in here, we'll have, this here is going to be the commissioner's office on the right. Um, so we've got, and then we've got Cap, Captain Young here is in the center, and then I'm on the left here. And right through this door is just the back entrance to the front desk. Um, I, I mean, I guess it's pretty straightforward too. Then let's see, we have break room over here. Um, I guess, if, you know, if you're at the station and you need to grab a quick bite to eat or something, make a cup of coffee, uh, anything you might need before you head out, that's all available here. Uh, along with vending machines. Yes, sir. And as we walk down to this awkward silence, down to the and all the way to the other end of the building. Yep. All right. Uh, I guess we'll start upstairs. Man, y'all got a second floor. Up here, they call it the relaxing room. I call it the dorms. Um, cadets and stuff. They can be. They can. Um, this is where they'll be staying, ideally. It's an option for them if they don't want to, you know, go invest in housing and all that while they're in training. Then this here is a room that a lot of people are very excited about. You got a canine uh, unit? Uh, not yet, but judging by this, I would say soon, hopefully. Oh, I hope so. Heading downstairs, out this door is just an exit to the parking lot. Through here. I don't know why they call I mean, I guess it functions as a fire escape, but it also functions as a way to bring uh, inmates or people in custody in. Oh, I can't wait to see this in use. Yep. Through this little garage here, we've just got some storage and then uh, files and evidence storage. And then obviously that garage door opens there. Uh, allowing people to bring it, you drive a car in here so you can have a secure, secure transfer of uh, suspects. And we'll have to come through here, let the doors close, and then come through this door here. We've got some fairly modern cells here. 
Oh, right now they're all right now they're all unlocked by default. So basically, you can come in here and well, it's, I mean it's a cell. <laughs> uh, obviously measurement board, computer access, and we've got an interrogation room in here. Oh, uh, that's looks like what they use for like the lineups. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, Cuban spent some time in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And three years. the first use. <laughs> no, actually, third use. What? So, I mean, through this door here is just the other side of that in the interrogation room. Uh, it also, yeah, the, the room also doubles as sus as uh, suspect lineup if you need to line up multiple people. Got forensics lab on the right. Restrooms here, or I mean, no, forensic lab on the left. Uh, and restrooms on the right. Same thing with locker rooms. We've got locker rooms on the right, and we also have a uh, full gym. Ah, this is where you spend all your time, huh? Nah, I wish. <laughs> New here, armory shooting range. Ah, it's pretty straightforward. This will be the first time I walk in here and not fired a shot. <laughs> you know. Peace of mind. Not everyone that walks in there ends up firing a shot. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. Can't resist. Yep. Yeah, I went to There we go. Oh, and shotgun. There we go. All right, and we had, I forgot this room on the right. This room is pretty straightforward. Uh, duty bags, uh, lockers for officers, troopers. And I mean, that's that's the whole of it. Well, I appreciate you again, Smith. You know, always letting us get the inside scoop of what y'all got going on. Yeah, I try to stay public. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, I said... <laughs> uh, plenty of times you'll see the state oh, badge. Oh, yeah. I, I, I kind of <laughs> looked at them every time. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, quite a few of them around here. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see, uh, hopefully next time we come by, we'll see, like, you know, most of the people using them. Well, whenever yep. y'all aren't busy, hopefully. <laughs> well, um, all right, well, uh, unless you have any other questions, I'm actually about to go do a hearing for another completely unrelated trooper. Oh, goodness. Uh, well, no, I don't have any questions, but, you know, like I said, I appreciate you, man. All right. All right. All right.